What happens for every member of a family when one or more people stop drinking or stop their active addiction? There are four stages in active addiction and recovery. They're very loose and general, but they're important. First of all is active addiction active chemical dependency, active alcoholism. That is uh, when the family is organized around maintaining the addiction. They don't want to change. They're afraid of changing. They are all immersed as a family into defense. We got married and she was pregnant and I didn't want to see that, you know. I was too busy drinking and smoking a lot of pot. So it was really hard coming back home, you know. I knew I was going to go, you know, home and start fighting with her or, you know, like arguing about it. And I, I always say, you know, like, it's not a big issue, you know. It's just me going with the homeboys, you know, for a night out. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until after we got married that I saw that he would go out every night uh, with his friends and would come back drunk. And that's when I no started noticing that um, it was a problem, an addiction. Addiction. As soon as that's identified, things will begin to change. And the family goes into what we call the transition stage, stage two. Transition is this period, the end of active addiction and the move into abstinence. It's not yet recovery. It's not yet recovery. It's dry. Transition is that very critical period when the drinking stops and the abstinence begins. Everybody in the family may go along. That's just wonderful. That's the best of all possible worlds. Lots of times this is the point when an individual, a, the actively addicted person, a partner, will go into a treatment program and hopefully everybody goes too. I just got tired of living the way I was living. I realized that uh, uh, I wasn't contributing the way that I knew that I could. So the big shift in new recovery for family members is to focus on the self. John's going to take care of his problem on his own. We can't do that. And I think we've all learned that part of it. But now we have to take a step forward and figure out, OK, so now what? Early recovery is stage three, and early recovery takes months, if not years, okay, to get into. Transition lasts months of stabilizing. And early recovery is really uh, defined by a lessening of impulse, a lessening of this quick knee-jerk response by everybody to need to do something quick. Stage four, ongoing recovery. You, you probably are hoping for the happy ending. Well, there is one, but it's not an ending. Ongoing means just that. By ongoing recovery, which is years of new learning, new learning, the family has its sense of knowing who it is and how it works as a recovering family. Um, now I have, the, I have tools uh, to help me through those times of uncertainty, knowing that it, it, Anything is better now that I'm not drinking. And so it's just really good to see her the way she is right now. And she looks 100% better and just more motivated. And it's great. And I like it. <laughs>